So a recent study just concluded that toxic chemicals were found in makeup brands and almost none of them were listed in the ingredient labels. Now this is absolutely mind blowing that this can be happening in this day and age still. In this video, I will go over what these toxins are, what health risks they can cause you and your loved ones, and what you can do to identify if you have these products on your shelf. If you're new here, my name's Claudio, I own an aesthetic clinic, and on this channel we explore the science behind skincare and aesthetics. So after decades of ladies asking for safe products, cosmetics still seem to contain some troublesome ingredients. And how do we know this? Researchers at the University of Notre Dame announced this month that they found substantial evidence of per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS for short, in more than half of cosmetic products, even though almost none were listed on the ingredients label. This study was a five-year, three-country effort by 16 researchers at five universities and the Green Science Policy Institute. Products from the United States were taken out from common cosmetic outlets like Sephora, Ulta Beauty, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target from 2016 to 2020. Now PFAS is a class of about 9,000 chemicals that are used to make products like food packaging, non-stick frying pans, and heavy duty cleaners. Yes, you heard me right. You could be wearing a tiny bit of frying pan on your face. Now you're most likely thinking, much like I was, why would cosmetic products use the same chemicals in making frying pans and packaging? Well, the answer is simple. PFAS are commonly used in products to make them durable, waterproof, and easier to spread. The study's authors essentially found high levels of organic fluorine, which is used as an indicator to test for PFAS, in over half of 231 makeup and personal care samples. That includes lipstick, eyeliner, mascara, foundation, concealer, lip balm, blush, nail polish, and more. Now the highest levels of indication of PFAS were found in 82% waterproof mascara, 63% of liquid lipstick and foundations and between 55 and 58% of eye cosmetics. If you found this video helpful so far, consider subscribing and like to see more. PFAS are sometimes dubbed forever chemicals because they do not naturally break down in the human body. They are found to build up and last decades in the blood of exposed people. Lipstick wearers, as an example, can eat several pounds of lipsticks in their lifetime. But unlike food, chemicals found in lipstick and other makeup and personal care products are almost entirely unregulated in the US and Canada. So we know what these toxins are, but what health risks could they have on you, your mom, or even your daughter? And how do we protect ourselves from them? The chemicals are highly mobile and can easily move throughout the environment and our bodies. And because cosmetics are often applied on the eyes and lips near the tear ducts and mucous membranes, they can readily be absorbed into the bloodstream. PFAS are associated with a number of health concerns that could harm the immune system, such as vaccine effectiveness, harm to the development and reproductive system, such as reduced birth weights, and impacts on fertility, increased risks of certain cancers, and effects on metabolism, such as changes in cholesterol and weight gain. Scientists are still learning about the health effects, but growing evidence suggests that PFAS may pose a serious risk to our health. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to read more. Now, half the samples did not contain high levels of fluorine in them which then suggests that makeup and cosmetics can be made without the use of these potentially health harming chemicals. So what can you do to protect yourself and your loved ones? And what brands are affected by this? Unfortunately, they do not single out any product names or companies in fact. And frankly, I don't believe that they should because that could have had a negative impact of the family's lives of the people that are employed by the companies. But rather, regulations should probably be tightened then to make sure that the use of these chemicals don't happen. Firstly, check the ingredient labels for any words that contain PTFE, perfluoro, 
and PolyTef as this will be an indication of PFAS use within the products. Secondly, products that are often advertised as waterproof, long-lasting and wear resistant usually contain high levels of fluorine in them. However, this does not mean that all of them advertised as such contain it. Thirdly, you can also check the environmental working group's list of verified toxin-free products. They have reviewed over 74,000 products and have identified over 18,000 of them to be free of chemical concern. I'll put a link in the description as well for that. The simple message here is that these cosmetics do not need to contain these piece fast chemicals in them that can have potentially serious health concerns. So why put them in the products then? Rather just leave them out. So using these methods can certainly help you make more safer informed decisions on what you're applying to your face. I encourage you to check your products and let your friends and family know too. If you like this video, then click on the video over here where I show you the smarter way to read your in skincare ingredients too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.